Okay, so you will never guess what happened to me one day when I was going to church. Like, it was crazy. I saw my first dental miracle. This happened a few years ago, and you gotta get something when I'm sharing this, is I went into church that day uh, not expecting to see a crazy miracle. I mean, I try and live my life in such a way where I'm always positioned expecting God to move, but that day I wasn't particularly going into the scenario saying, hey, today I'm gonna see a miracle, I'm gonna see a sign and a wonder. I was just going to church, and yet that was the day that really sparked kind of a trend of seeing all these dental miracles. So anyway, I was going to church and you know, it had just been a regular Sunday. I was, you know, again, wasn't expecting anything. We we're out from worship and we're in the lobby. So, you know, just even on a bunch of different notes, like we weren't in the service. We weren't, uh, it wasn't during worship. It wasn't some word of knowledge or prophetic word called out like, hey, I feel like somebody's got this exposed nerve or this tooth issue and God's wanting to heal it. And the person goes, yes, pastor, I have that issue. It, it, that wasn't the scenario that it happened. It was a, a very normal moment. We're out in the lobby and I'm chatting with a buddy of mine and he just tells me, hey, you know what? I have this uh, exposed nerve in my tooth. That's, that's how this conversation happened. I ask him how he's doing and he says, oh, my tooth hurts. You know, he has this exposed nerve. And so I say, well, let's pray. You know, let's believe God for a miracle. And he says, okay, yeah, for sure. And so I, I put my hands on his face. I, I, I don't even know if I had touched him on his face. I'm pretty sure I put my hand on his shoulder. So I didn't even touch the area. I just put my hand on his shoulder and said, in the name of Jesus, tooth be healed now. I command that exposed nerve to close over in Jesus name. That's all I said. And I said, okay, how's it feel? And he says, a little bit better. You know, sometimes miracles actually are progressive. It's called healing. It's a, it's a sped up process of your body. And so it's not like this instant thing. It's like a little bit, a little chunk here, a little chunk here and a little chunk here. So I pray again and it gets a little bit better. And then I pray a third time. And all of the sudden that exposed nerve is completely healed. All the pain is gone. And of course, in the moment I'm like, woohoo, you know, that's exciting. That's really cool. But then a few days later, you never get what happens. It's it's crazy. Like a few days later, God just does the most amazing thing, amazing way to kind of wrap up the story and confirm the testimony. It just made my, and for me, I was so pumped and excited when I heard this. And so I get a, a Facebook message from this guy a few days later and he says, Adam, you'll never guess what happened. I went to the dentist because my nerve, like my tooth was so good. I went to them specifically to get them to check it out again. And they looked at it and they could not find the exposed nerve. Like they couldn't find it anywhere. It was completely gone. And all they found was a little bit of plaque. That's it. That's all they could find was a little bit of plaque around the tooth that had the exposed nerve. And I go wild. Like you'd think I'm at like a hockey game or something freaking out. Like I am so excited. For me, like nothing gets me more excited the miracles and signs and wonders when that stuff happens. And so uh, for you watching this, I think a lot of the time you're, people are in my scenario. You know, they're coming in and you're not expecting a miracle. You're not even thinking that it's gonna happen. You're just uh, living out your day as you typically would. But my encouragement to you is it's in the everyday average moments of life that miracles can take place. And if you're hoping for a miracle, you need a dental miracle, you need something to happen. Let me tell you this, don't discount yourself. Don't pull yourself out of the race, but keep running. Because in the same way that all of the sudden, uh, my buddy's tooth got healed, your teeth, your body could be healed even right now in the name of Jesus. So my encouragement to you is choose to believe and maybe your story could be saying, you'll never guess what happened to me when I watched this video or I went to church. So if you need a dental miracle or any miracle in your body, let's pray right now and believe God for something amazing. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak to anyone who needs a miracle, anyone who needs a healing right now listening to this, in the name of Jesus, be healed. I speak to sickness, I command it, get out now. In Jesus' name, leave the body. Body be healed from head to toe now, in Jesus' name, amen. So if you had an issue, I would encourage you, check it out, see how it's doing, but stay in faith, 
And let's keep believing God for miracles, signs, and wonders. Because in the same way he flows through me, the truth is, he wants to flow through you too. By the way, remember to subscribe, hit the like button, join the community here. Also, you're going to see below, if you missed this, is that I have launched my Facebook page. There's a Walk Like Jesus Facebook page now. I'm going to be doing more daily content on that rather than just uh, one piece of content a week. So you're going to want to go to that. So my follow-up for this video is uh, go to that Facebook page and like the page and follow it so you can keep up and get your discipleship done more intentionally. Thank you.